Michel Ouimet, de La Presse, raconte une belle histoire sur la rencontre parfois malaisée entre les résidents d'une communauté éloignée de Terre-Neuve et des journalistes de la grande ville venus rendre compte de la fin d'un mode de vie au Canada. Ce texte captive le lecteur et décrit l'essence du pays, les deux langues y jouant un rôle. C'est une réflexion sur le changement qui prend place au Canada et un rappel de la gentillesse de ces gens. Cahal Kelly of the Globe and Mail enthralled judges with this vivid, elegantly written piece about one of the wildest games in Toronto Blue Jays' history. The language was amazing. The capacity crowd was by now reduced to a low, feral growl, and the crowd had slingshotted to a sort of karmic delirium. The story is all the more remarkable for being written on deadline. A beautifully rendered first draft of history that transcends sport. A new take on a Canadian classic by René Brumer of the Montreal Gazette looks at how researchers are using the backyard skating rink to track climate change. There is wonderful detail here, from the dead blow dryer to the homemade Zamboni, in this case, a steam iron used to smooth frozen slush. The story also serves to recreate happy childhood memories for those who grew up with backyard rinks. Randy Turner of the Winnipeg Free Press tells the story of one man's dream being realized in a truly Canadian way. It's the story of a former NHL player suffering from Parkinson's and diagnosed with cancer who gets one more chance to play hockey high in the Rockies. A man who feels almost normal and invigorated once he hits the ice. Michel Rouimet. From La Presse. You can't see the morning, but I can see the light. So she spoke in English, so I, I was sure it wasn't me. So thank you very much, and congratulations for the other nominees. I would like to thank first the video director from La Presse, Ninon Pedno. I was with her in Newfoundland, and she's the one who had the ideas to do the story of those remote villages in Newfoundland. I would like also to thank uh, Alexandre Pratt, my boss from La Presse. Uh, he sent me five weeks in the, the Maritimes to cover many stories before the elections. Alors, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Merci. Merci.